Hello, great minds. Welcome to another fun field lesson in quantitative reasoning. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at two exercises in our book. There is exercise four and five. In this exercise, we are going to look at the use of basic operations. All right. But first, we will look at the use of addition and subtraction in exercise four. Example one: addition, which is plus, and subtraction, which is minus. All right. Now let's look at what we have in example one. In this example, we can see four numbers in a circle. In four quadrants, the biggest number is 18. And uh, when we look at it, if these three numbers are added, what comes to mind? We can get 18. So let's see what we do with these three numbers. Now let's begin. 7 plus 3 that gives us a 10. Then 10 plus 8. That gives us 18. So we were correct. So by adding the three other numbers, we can get the largest number, which is 18. All right. Now let's say we wish to find the 8 instead of the 18. And we need to make use of the 3, 7, and the 18. So let's go to the board and see. So first, what do we do? We write down the largest number and do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. So 18 minus 7, that will give us 11. So 11 minus 3. That will give us 8. So, this is how we get the 8. Now, let's say we wish to get number 3. And we need to make use of the other 3 numbers. Let's go to the board again. We start with the 18, the largest number. So, 18, take away 7. That will give us 11. Then 11 take away uh, 8. That will give us 3. So this is how we get the 3. Alright. So the same way we get these numbers. That is how we get the 7. So let's say we want to make use of the other 3 numbers. 18, 8 and uh, 3. Now let's go to the board. We have 18 minus 8. That gives us 10. Now, from 10, we will subtract the 3. And that will now give us 7. So, this is how we get the 7. Alright? Now, let's move to the next example. Example 2. In this example 2, we are using four concepts here, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and then division. Alright, now let's see what we have in example 2. Now looking at this triangle, we can see the 22 on top and two, three other numbers under. There's a 2 in the triangle and 4 and 7 at the side or base. We add the 4 and the 7 at the base of the triangle. And that will give us 11. So, 11 multiplied by the number in the triangle, which is 2. That gives us 22. So, this is how we get the 22. Now, say we wish to get the 2 instead. What do we do? 
we make use of the 22, the 4 and the 7. Now let's go back to the board. 4 plus 7. Well, that will give us 11. Now what we do is to divide the 22 by 11. So, 22 divided by 11. That will give us 2. Alright, so that is how we got 2. If we wish to get any of the two numbers on the side, the 4 and the 7, for example, we are going to follow the same procedure. Alright, so we are just going to try to find one of them. Now, let's say we want to find the 4 and want to make use of 7, 2 and 22. Let's go to the board once again. So when this time we are starting with the 22. 22 divided by the 2. What we are going to get from there is 11. Alright. Now this 11 minus the 7. Because we are doing the opposite of addition. That gives us a 4. So the answer is 4. So that is how we got the 4. Alright. Now let's look at example 3. We have uh, concepts, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Alright. Now let's see how we can make use of this in the third example. If we wish to get this 7, making use of 25, 3, and 4. So we do the opposite of what we did in the previous example. So we start by subtraction instead of addition, that is 25 minus 4 equal to 21. Now this 21 we try to divide by the number at the middle which is a 3. So 21 divided by 3 that will give us 7. Alright? 7. So this is how we got the 7 at the bottom. So if we wish to get the 3 at the middle, so we'll make use of the 7, the 25 and the 4. Alright? So now let's see how we do this. Again, we are going to start with 25 by subtracting 4 from it. So 25 minus 4 is 21. Now this 21, this time around, we are going to divide by 7. Okay? So when we divide 21 by 7, we are going to get a 3. So this is how we got the 3. If we want to get 25 and we want to make use of 7, 3 and 4. So we are definitely going to start with 3 and 7. On the board, let's go. We have a 7 times 3. That's the opposite of division. That gives us 21. Then 21 plus 4. That will give us 25. All right. So that is how we got the 25. We have a 4. And so if we wish to get this 4, we make use of 3, 25, and 7. We have 7 times 3. This will give us 21. Now we have 21. So all we need to do is to subtract the 21 from 25. So that is to say 25 minus 21. That gives us 4. So this is how we got the 4. All right. Finally, we have the last exercise, which is exercise 5. The concept is the same, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now let's begin. We have a rectangle with one number inside and four numbers outside. So if we must get 31, the number inside, we must make use of the four numbers outside. 
Now let's start with the signs outside the box. On top we have division, that's divide. And at the bottom we use minus. Okay, let's start with the numbers on top. We have 39 and uh, 13. So when we divide 39 by 13, we are going to get a 3. Alright? So 39 divided by 13 is 3. Now we subtract, do the subtraction at the bottom, that is 46 minus 18. That gives us 28. Alright, so now this is how we got the 28. The 28 is therefore added to the 3 we got before. That gives us 31. So this is how we got the number at the middle. Now if we wish to get 39, we must make use of the other four numbers. 31, 46, 18 and 13. So we start from the bottom this time. So we have 46 minus 18. That will give us 28. Alright. So now we move to the middle. In the middle we have 31. Alright. So 31 is the number we are going to subtract 28 from. So we have 31 minus 28. That gives us 3. Okay. Now it is this 3 that we are going to multiply by 13 to get the 39. That's the opposite of division. So 13 times 3 gives us 39. So this is how we get the 39. Now let's go back and look at other numbers. Now if we wish to get the 13, we we'll use 39, 31, 46 and 18. Again we start from the bottom. So we subtract as usual 46 minus 18. That will first of all give us 28. Now we come to the middle, we see the 31. So we say 31 minus 28. That will give us 3. Alright? So we use this 3 we are going to make use of. Use it to divide the 39. So 39 divided by 3 gives us a 13. So that is how we get this 13. So now let's go down and get 46. So if we wish to get 46, we must go to the top to start. So let's say we make use of 39 and other numbers there. So we start from the top, which is 39. Again, 39 divided by 13 is going to give us a 3. All right. Now we'll go to the middle. We have the 31. So 31 minus a 3, then that is going to give us a 28. All right. Is this 28 we are going to add to the 18? All right. So 28 plus 18. That gives us 46. This is how you get the 46. Alright, finally, how do you get the 18? So let's look at that now using the remaining numbers. So on the board, we start with the top again. 39 divided by 13. That gives us 3. Alright. Now, we make use of the number at the middle which is 31 so we subtract the 3 from it and we get 28 so 31 minus 3 is 28 so from the bottom we subtract the 28 from the 46 so we have 46 minus 28 that gives us 18 so that is how we got this final number Hope you had a great time watching.
see you in the next class bye